Hi, I'm Betty Weller, President of the Maryland State Education Association. Our honoree not only teaches African American history, she lives and breathes it. From resource guides to plays to her own TV show, she infuses culture into everything she does so that all may benefit. Dr. Judy Lynn Mitchell. What are we gonna do, honey? What are we gonna do? We've lost everything, everything. Baby, everything's gonna be all right. You gotta remember this, that we are a strong black family and we believe in God and we can do all things through him. The actor's words bring the printed page to life, portraying the African-American experience. All written by prolific writer, Dr. Judy Lynn Mitchell. And you're just going to address your feelings, is that okay? For more than a quarter century, she's applied her creative talents to the celebration and teaching of African American history. She's written and directed several plays in her hometown of Salisbury, Maryland, raising thousands for community and church youth programs, programs that likely wouldn't reach their goals without Dr. Mitchell's help. Mitchell's efforts extend beyond the stage. She's written more than 75 newspaper articles on a range of black history topics. All of these uh, artifacts certainly bring back memories. And at any time, you can find her giving presentations to groups, detailing the rich history and contributions of African Americans on Maryland's Eastern Shore and beyond. Mitchell is an NEA member and a public school administrator. Her knowledge is detailed in the pages of resource guides, workbooks, and school curriculums used across the state. Her works help fill the longtime void in representation of African Americans and other ethnic groups. They also build students' enthusiasm and interest. Let's do a think pair share activity. Talk to the partner sitting beside you. The history buff also provides professional development and resources for educators. You didn't see any cowboys that look like us, okay? But there were. Dr. Mitchell immerses herself into her passion. She serves on the Education Task Force at the Reginald F. Lewis Museum of Maryland, African American History and Culture in Baltimore. Are you ready to hear our first story? And for those she can't touch in person or with her publications, she reaches through television. Mitchell has been the longtime host of reading programs for children. And I just read stories to children and it, it, it's a good feeling. Her inspiration is one that never tires. Inspiration that's led her to become a true African-American history dynamo. And we've just got to continue to spread the word. That's exactly what Dr. Carter G. Woodson wanted us to do. And his legacy lives on and on and on because it's not only right, but it's the truth.